All right, now I have all parts of the fist drawn, but before I move on, there is one last thing I do want to kind of mention about color for the shapes. So in the original of my fish, this section here has a gradient to it. So it kind of goes from yellow to green to blue. In order to do that, below your fill selection, you have three little boxes. So we have color, gradient, and none. For this one, I want to select my shape. I'm gonna to go to gradient. And here is where it allows me to edit my gradient. So on one side, like I said, it starts off as blue. On the other side, it starts off as yellow. Now, there's not really that green as you transition across. So one thing that you could do is if I click down here, I can make a third option. And that one's gonna be green. And then I can change the angle here to match what it is for my object. So that's a little bit closer. I can move these up to vary the gradient just a little bit. So that's pretty similar to my original, at least for this. So now that I have that fish drawn, I can go ahead and hide this template. So on this side here, I have these boxes that control whether I can see my drawing or anything that I have on here. These options here lock it. So if I were to create, if I had a bunch of layers here, I would want to make sure that all of these are locked except for the one that I'm working on. So now it's just a matter of creating your scene. So on this layer, I'm going to call it water, unlock it, lock the bluefish layer. On this one, I'm going to I'm just going to have a solid color for my water. Now, right now, you can't see my fish because the water is in the, in the way. For the Entertainment Center, to fix that, we would, would have gone to Object, Arrange, and then I'd send the water to the back. But that only works for things that are all drawn on one layer. When you have things on different layers, the order of the layers here matter. So I'm going to take this bluefish layer I'm going to move it up above the water layer. So now that's what's in front. So on these other layers, I might just add a little bit more detail. So this might be the sky. Make sure I'm on that right layer. Lock that one. This layer is going to be my sand. So in the final part of the video, I'll show you how to add even more details and to show how things can have that sense of depth and space by a couple different techniques.